We've got a lady called Cindelia on the line that has phoned in and said she has a little bit of problems with domain and range for functions. Hello, Cindelia, are you there? Hello? Hi, how are you? I'm fine, thank you. And you? I'm good myself. Where do you go to school, Cindile? I go to Bushu and Fundo Secondary uh, School. Oh, uh, all right. Okay. Now, Cindile, yes? domain and range, is, it seems to be a problem for quite a couple of people. Now, I want you to tell me firstly, yes? what is domain and what is range? Oh, well... I don't know that domain we determine what is on the x axis, like on the x lines, and the range is, well, the shift from the y's. Yes. Okay. I I I think I get you there. What we're talking about is domain is the x values that a function is defined for, right? Yes. Whereas range would be the y value that a function is defined for, yes. right? Now, what I'm going to do is I think we'll do an, a nice long question with parabolas and whatever at the end, but let's just go through a couple of easy ones to see if we get the basics of domain and range. Okay. 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 So what I'm going to do is let's start off with a straight line. Okay. Um, right. There's my y-axis. This is my x-axis. Right, so Dila, let's say we take any straight line. Yes. Um, let's take the straight line y is equal to x minus 1. Okay. okay. Quickly tell me, where is the y-intercept of the line y is x minus 1? Um, y is, it's going to be minus 1, negative 1. It's going to be negative 1. Yes. And what are we going to do to find the x-intercept? Um, we're going to let y is equal to 0. We'll make y equal to 0 and then we're going to get x minus 1, 1 is 0, so x will be 1, right? Yes. Okay. Now let's say they give us y is equal to x minus 1. It's a straight line graph. And they draw the graph like this. So, right. Yes. With an arrow on each end. Yes. Okay. Now can you tell me what are the x values that it will be defined for? the domain, and what are the y values that it will be defined for? Well, I can say for the x values will be 1, the, what can I say? No, okay, Sandila, now what we need to look at is if there's an arrow on the end, yes. it means this graph is going to carry on and on and on and on to positive infinity x values, and it's going to go on and on and on to negative infinity x values, okay? Yes. Okay, so we can say that the domain will be x an element of the real numbers, right? Okay. All of the real numbers. All of the real numbers. Yes. And the y is the same, because now I've only drawn a portion of the graph. But yes. if there's an arrow on the end, it means that it's gonna, the y values, it's going to go up to positive infinity, and it's going to go down to negative infinity, so the range. So why don't you like, so why don't you like say x is the element of negative infinity to positive infinity? You may do that as well. You may also do that. You may also do that, yes. X oh. is an element. Of positive infinity and negative, negative infinity, infinity to positive infinity. Positive infinity. Sorry, I'm drawing over my graph. Always with a round bracket. Yes. And y is an element of negative infinity, positive infinity. Okay. Okay. So that is a straight line graph that carries on forever. All right? Yes. But now let's look at another one that might end somewhere. Um, and it needn't be a straight line graph. Let's do a parabola. All right? Okay. I'm going to draw a parabola here quickly. We're going to run out of time, so I'm just going to draw any old parabola. Okay. Let's say we've got a parabola, right? Mm -hmm. And this parabola has got the turning point. Let's say its turning point is 1, 1. Oh, one, one. X is 1, Y is 1. Okay. okay. I didn't put the X and the Y axis in here. Okay, now. If we look at this parabola, I want you now to tell me what is going to be the domain of this parabola. 
Well, if it if the y element the y intercept is one and also the x intercept is one. So it's not the y and the x intercept, it's the turning point. It's the turning point, yes, and the axis of symmetry. Well, you could say x is an element of also real numbers. And yes, yes, exactly. Um, let's just stop there. We can say x will be all the real numbers, or we could say like you prefer negative yes, infinity yes. to positive infinity, right? Yes. Okay, but now the y values, and, and the reason why the x values will be negative infinity, positive infinity, we didn't stop the parabola by putting a dot on the end, right? Yes. We put an arrow on the end, and that means it's going to carry on like that, okay? Okay. But now what about the y values? The why that is we don't have an error saying they're going to turn, so... No, but now look, this is my x value of my turning point, that is my y value of my turning point, alright? Yes. Now, this parabola is only defined for y values from there upwards, okay? Yes. So, so the range will be... All, all the numbers. y greater than or equal to 1. Okay. Because th there's no y values for, th for this parabola beneath 1. Do you see beneath what I'm one. saying? Yes, I can see. Okay. So, so we could also, always also say that it's from 1 up to positive infinity. Okay. We could also do that. Yes. 1 with a square bracket and positive infinity, of course, with a round bracket. We could also say that. Now, okay. let's, let's quickly check out a parabola. This was a happy parabola, right? Because yes. it's got a smiley face. Let's check out a sad parabola. And let's say that this parabola turns at, I'm not putting the x and the y axis in, but let's say this parabola turns at x is negative 2 and y is 3. Okay. Yes. Now, again, it won't always be like that. They could put a dot on the end, and that means that the, the x values stop at that dot. But in this case, can you see the arrows are carrying on and on and on? So yes. our range, uh, our domain, sorry, our x values will be negative infinity Correct. to positive infinity. Okay. Okay. And then tell me quickly what would be the range in this case? Um, the range will be from, you said that it's, it's negative. It two turns at negative 2 and 3. And negative 2 and 3. So the domain will be positive 3 to infinity. Positive 3 to negative infinity. To negative infinity, that's right. So what we're basically looking at is we're just saying all the y values down from yeah. there. So it is y smaller than or equal to 3. Yeah. <laughs>